Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where- Oh, that's so cute! Look, we have one of our pups snuggling with us! Where we are here with our Generation 5 heiress to the Dark Moon Pack, B, Who is actually here snuggling with her puppies. The sixth generation has been born, you guys! Oh my gosh, this little pup is so ridiculously cute. Its tail is just like tickling her nose. It's just investigating everything. Morning Glory, the only little girl gray pup that we have in generation six's litter is actually going ahead and uh like eating right in front of her mom you guys i love them oh it's jet so they oh, oh my gosh oh my gosh that's too precious that is are you kidding me that is way too precious oh my goodness you guys <laughs> Look at Jet. He is the only male who has been born into this litter this time around. And it looks like he is very, very busy snuggling with his mom, which is so ridiculously cute. And meanwhile, all of his sisters are begging for more food. Because, oh my gosh, do we ever have a large litter this time? In contrast to the surprisingly, shockingly small litter that we actually ended up with, um, our wonderful, wonderful Atlas III and his mate Breeze. Was that a growl? Uh oh If that was a growl from Cliff, then there might be some danger afoot. Do we smell anything? Well, there's a lot of scents going around here somewhere. What is this all about? Is this just like the food that I have been putting down? I think that's just for the food that I have been, yeah, regurgitated meat putting down that we can smell. I hope that the, all the like predators can't smell that. And look at Cliff! He is keeping a careful watch on his pups. He, oh, look at Honey and Morning Glory just kind of circle each other. Figuring out life. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute, you guys. <laughs> Look at Jet. He's just kind of like figuring out what his dad's doing hiding over there. Okay, Plum still needs a little bit of food. Oh, but we're completely out of it. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at how cute they are. All right, I think that Honey is, at, or excuse me, that Bee is actually extremely excited to be surrounded by all of her pups. Look at this, Cliff is coming to see them. They're playing with all sorts of bones that we have lying around. But I do think that this is a lot of pups to be, and it, she didn't expect them to just be endlessly, constantly hungry. Oh dear. And also to be endlessly, like, trying to go ahead and, where are you two going? Come on, let's go inside. But I didn't think she she thought they would be like endlessly exploring and constantly hungry. So I think she feels a little bit ruffled. Like she's not quite a natural with the pups. She's really nice to them, but also like baffled by the fact like, wait, you're hungry again? So I think she's a little baffled by that. And I think Cliff is actually a little concerned about what is going to happen to them when it comes to all of the other packs. So we're gonna say he just came over to remind us that we have a little bit of a problem, if you guys remember. We're actually really struggling <laughs> with the fact that, um, yeah, oh geez. Okay, if the Crevice Lake pack is already at 100% and they are that close to us, then that means that they could possibly raid our den. And if they raid our den, you guys will recall Cliff's lifetime quest is that he is very defensive of his pups and his den. And if any stranger wolf raids our den, we actually have to roll a dice and we have to play on accurate for that many days unless we happen to go ahead and uh, we find a bear to bite, which will cancel out how difficult life will be. But Cliff also gets so upset if a stranger wolf comes into his den that he will not calm down until he is able to claim a like dice rolls worth of their territory. So if the Crevice Lake pack invades our den to like sniff at our pups right now, then we would have to roll a dice. And if we rolled three, then he would not rest and his quest would his lifetime quest would not be fulfilled until we claim three tech, like hexes of Crevice Lake pack territory in retaliation for them trying to come into our den. So Cliff actually has a pretty complicated life quest that means that trying to go ahead and like clear out any stranger wolves around us will make our life much easier in the long run. Not to mention we're getting kind of hungry and like the whole place now smells like den and regurgitated meat. So I'm sure, oh my gosh, like we were right across the, <laughs> right across the way from this territory. So yeah, I'm sure that this would actually really concern B now that she's caught her breath and fed the puppies and tried to smooth her fur down. So we're gonna immediately come this way. Oh, look at the world! It is so beautiful with all these plants now. I love it, I love it, I love it. But, oop, did I overshoot it? 
I don't think I did. Oh my gosh, are they that close? <gasps> They're that close! Like, the alpha female is literally right outside of our den. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's not at the den, so we don't have to treat this like one of those battles. Oh my gosh. All right, so where's... Where's Cliff? Where's Cliff? I really need Cliff here. Where's our mate? Did he not follow us? Is he back at the... Is he... Where is he? Okay, oh my gosh. I can't see him on the map. Oh my goodness. Okay, hide territories. Like, it's... Normally they show up on the map, don't they? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cliff, where are you? Alright, is she running for it? That was the alpha female! Oh my goodness! Okay, so, you know, I was also going to say that I feel like we have not um, given the Crevice Lake Pack their traditional renaming this time around. So I was trying to think about what to name them. And I think this time the Crevice Lake Pack might be, um, hmm. I kind of, ooh, wow, look at all these beautiful flowers. I kind of want to give them a name that's a bit respectful of the fact that, like, they're pretty swift. So I think we're going to actually name them the Swift Pack this time after the bird, the Swifts. And the reason we're doing that is because they dart in and out and they seem to be pretty agile. Oh my gosh, where is our mate? <laughs> I need him here with us. Okay, whoops, I didn't want to take out the honey lake. Yeah, Cliff is actually defending the den. I think he sent us out and he was like, so about the whole like their territory is right over here thing. All right, fine. I guess he thought that B could handle this on her own. Um, while we're up here, let's strengthen this line of territory because we saw the alpha female go back north. And then we'll go down south and we will start taking out this chunk of territory. I think Cliff will be very happy with us too. I, I seriously thought he was going to come patrolling with us, but I think that maybe he smelled something was in the air and was like, I'm not leaving these pups. Like, are you crazy? That's, that's not what he does. All right, look at all the plants. Yeah, I think the Swift Pack would be a fun name for them this time. As a nod to one of my favorite bird species while we're at it, too. Let's see. So we've got that one. Let's go ahead and strengthen up the one that's a little bit to the east. Oh, you guys! I, like, am so happy that we actually ended up with this beautiful vegetation update just as we got, like, a couple litters of puppies who are going to be all about honey and bears and how beautiful flowers are. We have like literally half of our puppies are named after flowers. <laughs> and in fact, I think one, yeah, two, three, we could argue that like half of our puppies are named after flowers. And we have this amazing update with all of the beautiful plants everywhere. I am well pleased by this. All right, good job. Okay, so we're strengthening up our territory there. I think for now we'll double around behind ourselves and we'll try to find some food. And we will also try to go ahead and, like, defend this spot. So we can hold a strong line of defense to the north against the swift pack. Because they are very quick. They seem to be darting in and out. Oh good, a little bit of food. Lucky rabbit's foot. Don't mind if I do. But they are, like, darting in and out. And they're going to make a lot of trouble for our pack if we're not careful. The Dark Moon pack. And actually, I wanted to talk to you guys about that. Um, I might even hold a little poll to see what you guys think. So we've had the Dark Moons for quite a while. And we had a really tragic turn last time. But I feel like B might want to change things. So I'm thinking, like, the Dark Moon has such a dark past uh, that was really seeped in, like, a lot of violence at certain points in the, in the pack's heritage. And I feel like B, with this beautiful vegetation update and, like, her own personality kind of reminding me a bit of Rosetta's, like, lightheartedness, I, I feel like that even though tragedies do happen, she kind of wants to have a, a different view of the world. So I was thinking, if we can 100% fulfill her lifetime quest of being able to bite the butt of enough bears, of having to roll for easy days and accurate days if we have bitten the butt of a bear, or if we have gone ahead and we have had the den raided, and if we completely like keep all the puppies alive and complete Cliff's lifetime, like, lifetime quest, I'm thinking of renaming the pack. 
I, I know that's a little bit of a, a like what renaming the pack kind of idea but the dark moon it just doesn't seem to sit well on B's shoulders and I think it would be really fun to potentially rename it to something a little bit more lighthearted like we're halfway through the packs lineage with our goal of getting to another lucky rabbit's foot maybe it's a sign that we should go ahead and try that out but we're halfway through going ahead and like actually having our 10 generation challenge so if there was going to be a moment where we kind of took a deep breath and figured out if the personalities of the pack members have kind of shifted and if we want to roll with that shift and maybe try to try to direct the pack in a new way like we could go dark path if we lose a pup then we'll stay dark path but if we're is that the woof woof is that the dun 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 of a bear <gasps> there's a bear there's a bear there's a bear to bite the blood of you guys yes bite the butt of the bear bite the butt of the bear go be go 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 we have bitten the butt of another bear you guys that means that this is a great sign that b is taking over even more of this territory now we can roll the dice of destiny and the dice of destiny says five five easy days oh my word on top of the four easy days from last time that means we can play on easy for like eight days as long as we are not raided by a wolf at the den. Because if that happens, run me! Oh, we did it! We did it! We bit the butt of a bear! A poor grizzly bear, no less! I'm gonna bite his butt again. Yes! Oh, we just claimed a bunch more territory, like roleplay wise. That, maybe that is a sign that like if B really, in fact, maybe that's what we'll do. We will offer the pack a chance to be renamed um, every time we fulfill all of the lifetime quest. And that will be like one of the lineages because we're part of the moon pack. So maybe we'll, we'll allow a rename if the pack member is able to complete their quest, their mate's quest, and keep all the puppies alive. So what do you guys think about that? Because, you know, names change over time. People change their names and people change, like, the names. Hmm. Oh, a bison bull carcass over here. Is that where the bear was coming from? Oh, that would be really good to find. Oh, you guys. I think that's where the bear was coming from. Is there another bear? Oh my word. All right, let's try coming up here and seeing. All right, oh, we're in another Pax territory again. Bison bull carcass. Oh, you guys, we might have some nice bison bull to eat in just a second here. Okay, I think it's coming with this other bear. Are we gonna bite the butt of another bear? Because then that would let us like really get very close to completing this lifetime quest. Oh, we're getting really close. There's a lot of food here, I think. Coyotes, yes! Okay, there's a lot of food right here. And it's a bison bull! Oh, you guys! All right, we're gonna fill up our stomachs and then we'll see about taking over this chunk of territory. What good find! Good, good, good. And how are the pups? Are they getting hungry? They're actually not terribly hungry right now. So that gives us plenty of time. All right, yeah, we're totally full, but we'll grab some food because I'm hoping we won't need to fight. Though there might be a bear to bite the butt of if we keep looking. However, I do want to take this territory because a territory with a bunch of bears, like we stole food from a bear today. How freaking cool is that? Also some mule deers are like running for their life right now to get away from us. But maybe this is a sign. So I'm hoping that this is going to like indicate that maybe if we do manage to complete these lifetime quest, we can change the legacy of the pack by changing the name of the pack. It would still be something and then moon, but I, I really do kind of like that idea. I think it could be a special one. I think it could definitely help us to make the, the like tone of the dark moon maybe not be quite so dark anymore. But let me know what you guys think. Should we hold the heritage and just say that the darkness is not always a bad thing and actually even if we do change the personality of the pack, that doesn't mean we have to turn our back on like the darkness that sometimes happens in life. We have to find a way to embrace it sweetly instead. 
Uh, or do you think it would be fun to offer the wolves a chance to leave a big mark on the moon by... Oh, big bison. By going ahead and changing the name of the pack if we want to, if we're able to complete all of the challenges. So do let me know. Ha oh, ha, we stole another spot in their territory. Man, Cliff's gonna be so proud of us. And then I'm going to haul this food back for our pups and see you guys next time. So if you could, do please leave a like for our fantastic bee buzzing through this beautiful, beautiful forest full of flowers. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!